Hello friends, welcome to the another video. This video is again fourth video in the new Windows DAX function. In this video, we are going to look into uh, the extension of the previous video, third video about the running total. Uh, I will post the link of the third video in the description of this video. Do check that out. And now let's get to Power BI and look at how we can get a running total. Note at the only at the color level when we are looking at the data in the hierarchy, but also at the parent level. Let's get to Power BI. So here in Power BI, I already have a product category and then the color. And as you can see, we have a running total on the colors. So like for example, road bikes, we have a black and then red and then yellow. And this is the running total based on their sales. Now, if we go one level up, uh, at the category level, we don't have the running total. We just have the sales of that category, but not the running total. Running total is only at the color level. So if there is a need that we want the running total at the uh, sub level or the child level in the hierarchy, but also at the parent level, what we need to do is we need to make changes to our uh, measure. This is our existing measure, what we have created just to give you a quick rundown, but do check out the video three to get the full de detail. So we are using some sales and then the window function. This is a new function. One absolute will give us the first color uh, or the first position ever based on the order by, and then zero relative will give us the current position. So that will this will give us the range. Uh, let's say if we have three rows, if we are in the second row, the range will be first row and the second row. If we are the third row, the range will be first row, second row and third row. And that's how we are getting the um, uh, running total. And then we have a summarized all selected sales. Check out the first video why we're using the summarize function. Um, and then what we are doing here is we are having sales uh, grouped by basically product category and color. And then we are ordered by the product color because that's what we how we want the color but we are doing the partition by product category because we want the running total of by color within the category. And this is what how we are getting the result again, going back to road bikes. Uh, so running total is black, red, yellow. So here we are getting the running total, uh, but again, only at the color level. But if we need, again, in this video, if we want it at the uh, category level as well, we need to make the changes to this function. So what we need to do is we're going to take advantage of is in scope function. Uh, I have few videos in is in scope. Uh, I will post the link of those videos as well. Uh, do check out those videos. So basically what we need to do here is to find out where we are in the hierarchy level and then have the window function, um, the new window function tweak accordingly. So what we need to do here is we can say if is in scope product color then whatever our existing measure is just keep that but assuming we have only two category level because I don't want to go if we have more than two category level we will use the switch function but for the simplicity I'm just keeping two level right now so we have a color and category so basically we are saying is if we are at the product color then we want to run this code otherwise what we need is just get a copy of this and paste it here. Now in this case, what we need to do is we don't need the partition by a color or, or group by color. What we can do is we can remove this uh, and also now the order by will be products category instead of the color. So what we need to do is take this and copy here, forget about the sending and we don't need the partition because it's just the top level and we don't need the partition. So as you can see, we have the running total by category. So bike racks 40,000 and then bike stand 80,000, 40 plus 40. That's how the running total is. And then within each category, we have the running total again, going back to road bikes. Uh, within each category, we have the running total of the category or the colors within that particular um, category. So now uh, we have the running total you at the category level also running total within that category by color as well. Uh, 
now this there are a couple of things going on this uh, measure here we are repeating like summarize at few places and then order by and whatnot so we can uh, store those in a variable and then reuse that so this is what i will do in this case so maybe i will say okay i stored my table which is my summarized by product and color so we can reuse it so i'm going to summarize i'm storing this in a variable so all selected sales by category and by color and then in the return what i'm going to say is instead of using the summarize here we can use table and in, and also here instead of using the summarize we can use the table our variable in which we store the value and we don't need to tweak anything else in this case we're going to say order by product color because the table it contains the product color and um, and then uh, because of the lineage uh, uh, of the, the relationship and the partition by product category and product category here so in this case what we're doing here is we just order it by the product category we still have the correct result as you can see the running total by category and again if we go back to the road bikes because that has multiple colors and we also have the running total by color as well so what we did now is in this case we we store the summarize in table in a variable so that it's computed at once here and then uh, we are using that again and again now the question comes in mind is like can we store the order by and the partition by in the variable as well and then use that unfortunately you cannot do that and i tried to do this and uh, you will get this error message let's say if it, i say var order by and i want to store it let's say just for the sake of an example i say order by product color i will get an error as you can see the order by function can only be used in the order by parameter of window functions when it says the window functions that is made up of three functions offset window and index not the actual window function again we cannot store order by or partition by in a variable so we have to use it in um, in the each window function here based on what our requirement is and and uh, but we can always store our summarize table or the data or on which we want to compute our window or running total we can store that in a variable i hope you learned a few things out of this video do check out is in scope video as well and the previous uh, three videos on the window dax functions in the next video i'm going to talk about index dax function again that is part of the window dax function do subscribe my youtube channel until next video have a great day thanks for watching bye for now thank you